Today we install a chimney flashing on a standing seam metal roof using a pre-manufactured curb. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Well today in the new year, we are continuing our standing seam metal roofing installation series with a chimney flashing. We're gonna be using a pre-welded aluminum curb to flash the chimney on Adam's house. We've already done a video on curb installation and the link is in the description for you to check out. Definitely watch that video because the steps are very similar when it's applied to a chimney. The main difference is we're gonna be using what's known as a reglet flashing. Matt Lane from Metal Construction Solutions and Installations is back with us again, and he's gonna explain what a reglet flashing is and talk you through the steps of how to install a pre-manufactured curb on a chimney. For Sheffield Metals, a prefabricated curb is required for their weathertight warranty system. Uh, we're installing one around this chimney. We've got our lines marked out to cut our reglet. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a diamond saw blade, we're gonna cut into this chimney a passage in order to slip our flashing into, seal it and caulk it, and that'll come over our reglet. Um, they've got a video on it if you want to click here, and let's get at it. Uh, before we get started here, just a couple quick notes. We have left our metal roof panels off of this area intentionally. We're going to make a lot of debris, a lot of sand as we cut. Another thing to note too, uh, cutting into concrete, cutting into sandstone, not healthy for your lungs, can uh, produce a condition called silicosis where the material gets in your lungs and it cause a long-term health problem. So you wanna make sure, obviously your eyes are protected, make sure you're wearing the proper uh, face mask. You don't wanna be breathing that dusting. So let's go. process is finished, we'll have a lot of dirt and debris on the roof, uh, on any flashings that are nearby. We want to take proper precautions, uh, safety number one. Stuff can be slippery, we don't want to leave it under our roof, so we want to take care to clean our, uh, our roof deck off. We also want to take care to clean our flashings off. This is sand, uh, you step in it, it's going to be slick, it's going to damage your flashings, it'll be detrimental to the long-term uh, sustainability of your roof. As we're starting into our chimney, we've started notching for our curb flashing up here. We'll sheet across the bottom. We'll take measurements on our curb. We'll notch that out, and then we'll set the bottom half of our curb in before we start the top of the chimney. So we got all our panels on beneath our chimney. We're marking out for our highs, and we're gonna go lay out our curb.
All right, so we've got our panel for the left side of our chimney complete. We've pleated the bottom, pleated the side up here and this little leg here, and now we're ready to go install. Something quick to note, you know, we're drilling this hole out. We're gonna create a lot of uh, debris, metal shavings in out on the roof. We wanna avoid walking on those as that'll damage our paint finish. And another thing to note, we're right here. We don't have this section of the roof done. So we wanna do these areas if we can before we do a lot of the roof around it. That way we're avoiding walking on finished roof. It's just gonna put more wear, more chance for things and dents in it. Here is our uh, regular piece that's going to go into our chimney. We've got our slot cut. This we can slide into there. When it comes done, we'll open this up a little bit. And that way, when we drive that in there, it actually locks itself in. Then this will get a caulk bead along it to seal the top of that chimney off above the flashing. Things have dried up pretty well out here on the chimney surface. The stone's good and dry, our flashing's good and clean after the rain the other day. Um, quick note before we start caulking, if you've got repairs to make on the, your chimney and anything needs tuck pointed, you've got things that are severely damaged, you know, um, taking care of those things before your roof goes on, before your flashings go in, 
you know, it would be a wise idea. You don't want to try to fix this stuff once you've got your new roofing system on. So take care of those things in advance. And we're going to get this caulked in and sealed in and we'll be 100% done with this detail. Something to note when, when caulking, I want to make sure your edges are all tight. Things are filled in. You don't want to have gaps in here, nice clean surfaces. You want that edge to have a tooled in finish and not be lifted. Thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you learned something. Thanks again to Matt Lane from Metal Construction Solutions and Installations for talking us through the process. Really excited to continue the Sandy Seam Metal Roofing Installation Series, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another episode. Comment down below with any questions, and as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we will catch you next time.